Itasca State Park's longest state employee is finally walking away after almost half a century of service. Haiti Clotter has that story in this week's Community Spotlight. A storybook career that spans almost five decades is in its final chapter. Lorena Dora Voyak is at her retirement party after working at Itasca State Park in Park Rapids for 47 years. I lost my husband many years ago, and so I decided to just stay working. During her tenure, Voyak wore many hats, spending her time as a cook and even a waitress. She vividly remembers her first day on the job. I was cleaning cabins at Douglas Lodge area. It's no surprise seeing a room filled with family and friends to give Voyak a proper send-off. Lorraine's son, Ronald, couldn't be more proud of his mother. She's always been one of service, and she works very hard and uh, really been, as, as her son, I've been blessed to have her as a mother. A cake and card shows just how much Voyak will be missed. The feeling is mutual. Well, I'm going to miss everybody miss this place, but I will be back to visit. How do you recognize 47 years at Itasca State Park with the plaque and retirement jacket to match? Thank you. Over the years, park manager Robert Chance has gotten to know Voyag very well. Dedicated, uh, very uh, consistent, uh, very uh, loyal to the park. Chan says nowadays people don't stay but a couple of years at a job and seeing Voyak reach this milestone is something worth celebrating. We appreciate what uh, her service and appreciate what uh, she's done for the park and it's also important for us to say uh, goodbye to Lorraine. Although Voyak says she'll miss working with and meeting nice people the most, life after retirement will be simple. Well I live on a farm so I got lots of things to do. And when you work for so many years, there's things you've got to catch up on. In her mind, I'm always going to be her 10-year-old little boy. <laughs> so she's, it's, we're going to have a lot of time together. For this week's Community Spotlight in Park Rapids, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.